All right, Algebra 1, Lesson 112. This one is more on multiplication of radical expressions. All right, it tells me to multiply, and then it gives me a problem like this. 2 plus square root of 2, 3 plus square root of 8. All right, so um, this works like any other um, type of problem, um, but we're adding um, square roots in there. So here we go. We're going to take this number times this number. So 2 times 3 is 6 plus 2 times square root of 8 is 2 square root of 8. Okay? Plus square root of 2 times 3, which is 3 square root of 2, plus square root of 2 times the square root of 8 equals the square root of 16. I just multiplied what's on the inside. 8 times 2 is 16, and I have to leave it into this. Okay? Now, I'm going to look at this and see if there's anything else I can do. Well, I know that the square root of 16 is 4. I'm going to bring the 6 down. And then this I can do something with because um, you see how this is square root of 2? Square root of 8 is, let me just draw this, 2, and then I've got square root of 8, which would be square root of 2 times the square root of 2 times the square root of 2. Square root of 2 times the square root of 2 times the square root of 2 is the square root of 8. Okay? Now, hopefully you remember from previous lessons that if you have 2 of these, then it equals just the whole number 2. For example, square root of 64 times the square root of 64 is... 64. Why? Because the square root of 64 is 8, the square root of 64 is 8, and 8 times 8 is 64. Just a quick little example. So, square root of 2 times the square root of 2, and that's going to give us a 2. So I'm going to erase two of those. So then basically what this says is 2 times this 2, and then we've got this square root of 2 still left. So I'm going to change this 2 times 2 to 4. Okay? And I'm going to bring everything else down is 3 square root of 2, and then this answer 4. Now I'm going to add like terms. A number and a number are two of my like terms. 6 plus 4 is 10. And then a 4 square root of 2 plus a 3 square root of 2, those are like terms. So this is 4, this would be like 4 cats plus 3 cats. So this would be 7 cats, for example. Okay, final answer would be 10 plus 7 square root of 2. Alright, let's do a few more. There's four practices of this. Um, and do not turn me off because the fourth one you're going to really need to pay attention to. So, um, let's do the second one. Here we go. 4 plus square root of 5. And then 2 plus, uh, plus actually that's a minus, so plus a negative 2 square root of 5. Okay, so here we go. 4 times 2 is 8. 4 times that, so 4 times negative 2 is negative 8 square root of 5 plus 2 times square root of 5 plus negative 2 and then 5 times 5 is square root of 25. Okay, there we go. So all I did is multiply the square root of 5 times the square root of 5, which means the square root of 25. And then this negative 2 just stays there. Okay. Now, um, I'm going to see if there's anything I can do. Um, I know that this is a like term and this is a like term. So negative 8 um, square root of 5 plus 2 square root of 5 is going to be a negative 6 square root of 5. Hopefully you see that. I'm going to bring down my 8. Plus, and then um, this square root of 25 is 5. So this would be negative 2 times that, because anything a 2 next to that means multiply. But let's go on and complete what square root of 25 is, which is 5. So negative 2 times 5 is 10, negative 10. All right, and then I'm going to add these like terms, which is going to be negative 2 plus, and then I've got my negative 6 square root of 5. See if that's right. Yes, it is. We did it right. Okay? Let me see if the third one is just like that one. We'll move on to the fourth one. Just wanted to make sure. 
Yeah, it pretty much is. Okay, so then let's do um, example four. Um, now here's what it says. Instead of saying multiply this, it says expand, which you're still going to multiply. But let's look at this problem together. Square root of 2, x, plus square root of 3, y. And then it's got it all squared. Now, um, I want to show something to you. Okay, that just means this times this. So I'm just going to write it twice. But I want you to pay attention to this x is not within the line. It's not within that radical expression. So 2x. And you can even put a, a little bar to show you that it's broken off from that if you want to. Plus square root of 3 and then the y. And we're going to do that twice because it's squared. 2x. And we'll show a bar on that. Plus square root of 3, y. Okay. Now, here's what you're going to do. Now pay attention to how I do it. Square root of 2 times the square root of 2 would give me the square root of 4. And x times x would give me x squared. See that? Okay. Now, now remember this square root of 4 is not a part of this x part. Plus, now let's do this one. Square root of 2 times the square root of 3 would give me the square root of 6, and then x times y, x times y. Plus, now let's do the inside part. Square root of 3 times the square root of 2 would be the square root of 6, and again, x, y, and we'll show that. And then plus square root of 3 times the square root of 3 would be the square root of 9, and y times y would be y squared. And again, I'm going to show that it's not a part of it. I'm putting that little stick right there. Okay, now, what is the square root of 4? 2. And then I'm just going to bring everything else down. Plus, we'll talk about this in just a second. And then what's the square root of 9? 3. Y squared. All right. Now, do you remember how um, we had like 3 squared... Uh, square root of 2 plus 4 square root of 2, and we added them together. Okay, so it would be 3 plus 4 would give me 7. Okay, this would be like 1 6xy plus another 6xy, which gives me 2 square root of 6xy. Oh, no, I'm sorry, not square root of 2, just 2. There's 2 of them. 1 plus 1 makes 2 of them 6xy. Um, another way would be... Um, uh, 2 plus 2, that equals 4, but 2 squared equals 4. So this, since there's two of them, this plus this, um, that would equal two of those. Okay, just to kind of show you that real quick. All right, so then my final answer is 2x squared plus two of these, 1 plus another 1, plus the 3y squared. And I believe that is the final answer. Yes, it is. Okay? Final answer. And that's lesson 112.